Hi guys, today I'm going to show how to test a positive crankcase or PCV system and not just the valve. Now let's get this. PCV system is made up of the PCV valve, PCV hose and a vacuum source, usually from the air intake or intake manifold. The function of this system is to vent blow-by gases from the combustion chamber back into the intake manifold in a bid to reduce emissions. On cars with turbos or superchargers, it also prevents the positive pressure in the intake manifold from going in the reverse direction through the PCV valve and into the crankcase. A defective PCV system can cause drivability issues such as misfires, hard starting, rough idling and so on. It can even give you codes for the MAF sensor when there's actually nothing wrong with the MAF sensor. But here's a simple test that you can use to assess the entire PCV system on your car. First you want to locate the PCV valve and the PCV hose. On this 2017 Accord, here's the PCV valve and the PCV hose is right back here. This hose to the right is for the fuel rail. Next we're going to pinch this hose and observe its effect on engine idle. I'll also show you an alternative test which you can use if your PCV hose is hardened and you don't want to pinch it. Actually you should first try to depress the PCV hose with your fingers and if it's hard or it doesn't depress it's better you use the alternative test which I'm going to demonstrate as well rather than risk cracking the PCV hose. Even though at this point you should be thinking of replacing the hose. With the car at operating temperature and running at idle, I'll go ahead to pinch this hose and as you can see there's a temporary drop in engine idle which quickly recovers. This shows that the PCV system is working as it should. To better demonstrate the degree of drop, switching over to live data on my scan tool just for final observation, the drop in idle that we witnessed should be at around 40 to 80 RPM when the hose is pinched. And as you can see, when I pinch the hose, the idle reduces from about 720 to 680, giving us a drop of about 40 RPM. This is within the expected bracket and proves that this PCV system is functioning normally. On the other hand, if you pinch the hose and the idle drops significantly and then recovers, the PCV valve may be stuck open. If you pinch the hose and the idle speed does not drop at all, you may have a blocked PCV valve or a PCV hose. People often check for a clogged PCV valve but never bother to check for clogging in the PCV hose. This is especially true if you've had a case of engine sludge. An alternative way to test the PCV system is with the car at operating temperature. Pull out the PCV valve from the crankcase. Note that you may need to remove the PCV hose and unscrew the PCV valve if you you have the threaded type and then plug the valve back into the hose. Next start the car and with the car still at operating temperature plug this end of the PCV valve and you should feel vacuum or suction on the finger if the PCV system is functioning normally. The RPM should also behave exactly as described previously dropping by 40 to 80 RPM initially and then recovering. If you don't feel any vacuum on your finger as mentioned before you either have a clogged PCV valve or hose. You can then go ahead to do the rattle test just to see if the PCV valve itself rattles. Note that a PCV valve may still be inefficient even if it rattles. As you can see, when I compare this old PCV valve with the new one, the rattle from the new valve is definitely louder than that from the old valve, showing that there's some degree of clogging in this old valve. When in doubt, I'll just say you should clean or replace the PCV valve. These valves are meant to be replaced around 60,000 miles even though most manufacturers don't have a mileage recommendation. Alternatively, if your owner's manual has a recommendation, follow what's in your owner's manual. Note that some PCV systems are integrated into the valve cover and on such cars you won't be able to use either of these tests. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace!